Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're starting off the vlog shopping again. We are at our favorite country store that makes amazing baked stuff. I think you should have these. But well, look at how much these tarts are, $13.49. Anyway, this is one of my favorite stores ever. It's called Taste of Country. And they have so many different things. Like, they have diced chicken. You can use this for so many different recipes. It's already cooked. It's only $10.99 and you throw it in all your recipes. They even have chicken breast strips. But what I'm really looking for today is some hot drinks that Gabby can take to school. This is one of the places that I get my raw honey. Unpasteurized raw honey. I might get this actually. I use it for food. I use it for drinks. Oh, I'm at, I'm actually looking for hot chocolate. Where did you get that? Up right here. Oh, we and gotta find it. Green. What's it say? Green color changing white. Green hot color changing hot chocolate. I know someone who would love this packaging. She knows someone who would love that. Um, but anyways, this is something that I use a lot for like horse cuts and stuff. But we eat it too. So these are not usually unpasteurized. Oh, these are pas unpasteurized. What's the difference between this one? That's probably creamy. We love these. These are so good. Actually, these would be great for Gabby to take to school. You just throw it in a microwave. It's a hamburger. And there's three, three of them five for five dollars. bucks. 20 bucks for a box of bacon? That's a really good price. Oh my gosh. I don't know how you wow. I, my favorite thing in this whole store. Wait, I have to find it. Is that it? cherry bread oh they make it different now though it used to be different but this is my favorite thing cherry bread all right so this is what i was looking for wow they have frankenstein dracula and witch's brew hot chocolate so oh that's orange hot chocolate red velvet hot chocolate and green hot chocolate i don't know if this is gabby's style they also have a lot of decorations and stuff blankets and things you hang on your wall oh there's your pickles that you wanted yeah six dollars is that good or bad it's okay i really need to like pick a theme for our kitchen and like colors and stuff and get some stuff for it these rooms just go on and on and on and they have amazing things but this is my favorite room by far it's all the candles and smelly things. These all smell amazing. All right, comment below. What is your favorite scent? I love vanilla. Mmm, I like the lagoon too. All right, there's no bad smell in this store. Mmm, coconut mango guava. Mmm, that smells good. You like it? I'm getting it. I need you to turn on some light switches so I can figure out what outside lights we can have on. I'm gonna buy these special lights for. All right, let's do it. That light bulb is broken. That's the one I'm seeing. All right, so that's light bulb number one. We better do it today while Gabby's home. No, I don't have the light bulb for it. Oh, you need a special light bulb? Yeah. I want you to turn on the light so I know what switch that one is on. Okay. This one's for outside. This one. Uh, we're inside. Is for this half of the barn, and uh, this one is for that half of the barn. You know, we lived here like two months now, and I didn't even know that. They're like, I know you're coming to give us food. I noticed this bulb right here is burnt out. I like how they're all in cages, though. In fact, I have a heating lamp that has that comes in a cage. I swear these are the ones that we just put in. Sam is a like crazy person about light bulbs. If you don't know anything about Sam. Yeah, yeah, some of them don't work. It did work and then it burst and then it stopped working. Our little boy is out there screaming. Let me change all the other ones. There was this time when Sam and I were first together where he was like, it was before smart light bulbs before led light bulbs before any kind of special light bulb and he was insane 
one of these light bulbs was like $25 and he would order them online to have our whole house. Yeah, I had LED light bulbs before they were. He had LED light bulbs before anybody else had LED light bulbs. It was when they were brand new, just starting out and you had to order them and they were really expensive. Yeah, 25 bucks a bulb. He is honestly insane about light bulbs, has always been insane about light bulbs, but that's okay. I, I love, like, he's always been about energy efficient and saving energy and all that stuff. Did you guys know that you can't clean hay? If you use hay as a bedding, it's impossible to pick it up with those kind of pitchforks. You need, like, a metal pitchfork. I've been trying to do it for so long and I'm like, oh my gosh, Tim, I cannot do this anymore. It's so annoying. We also got some more security stuff that I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know if I'll show it to you today or if I'll show it to you in tomorrow's video, but we got some really exciting security, more security stuff for our farm. By the time we're done, we wanna have security all over everywhere, even on the trail, because it's so much fun to be able to like not have to film, but have camera footage of us going on trails or like, even the deer and stuff. We have absolutely been loving watching the horse cams that we have set up, being able to see everybody at night, being able to check and see that it was indeed Willow that let everybody out of the stall the other day. We usually go down to the barn at the same time every single morning. And right at that time, like about 15 minutes before the time we go down to the barn, we get alerts on our phone. The horses are starting to get antsy. They're starting to pass the cameras. They're starting to go to the door. They're starting to be excited to go out and uh, Willa went to that door, the gate, and I think it's because she goes through that gate to get to her field, so she was getting ready for the morning and she just happened to pop the lock. So another thing that I wanna do, especially like on a beautiful day, I'm riding today. Like I've been trying to ride all week, so I'm riding, I got my riding clothes on. Um, but, an, but another thing that I wanna do this week or in the near future is to clean out all these stalls. They still have hay in them or shavings in them. Does this have shavings? Yeah, pretty much. So I want to get it all clean, all the hay, all the stalls especially with hay. I want to get everything all cleaned out and all fresh because I don't want to be building like a maternity stall in the winter if our goats are pregnant. If our goats hopefully are not pregnant, then we will probably breed them this, this winter. So we're going to need maternity stalls anyway. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Half of them did not work. But they were working before. So there's a light in the stall that we use. No light in either of these stalls. I wonder if someone like unwired them. Sam wants me to turn on all the light switches. Anyway, I'm finding it really hard to clean out this stall. I'm gonna get, once all these, this, this hay is done, I'm gonna be putting shavings in here because hay is really hard to clean up and it's big and it's bulky. It takes up a lot of space. It's super annoying. Oh. This one is weird. Yeah, see, I think all of them are kind of just iffy. Oh, that's better. I love that they have cages, though. That's such a smart thing. Another thing I love in this barn is that it's got this chalkboard. Uh, it has the name Jack written on it. <laughs> but I can clean this off, and we can use this. Where'd you find the fuse, Tana? No, but, uh, cool. All right, well, that makes sense. And did you flip them? No. Oh, well, you should try it. I actually never realized that there's this thing here. We should move this. This is perfect for hanging up all of our tools. We are still exploring cabinets. <laughs> Clogs, hooks. So I have some lime, which I want to put in the duck and the goose stall underneath their bedding. So Sam's going to buy some new light fixture things to try and fix it. Because it's the ones right in front of the doors that aren't working. And those are the ones that we really want working so that we can see what we're doing when we come in. Oh my gosh, I've noticed that hawk hang hanging around and they were circling. Yeah, they were pacing back and forth here. Like, let me in, let me in. We should maybe put them away then. Was the hawk close to the ground? Yeah, really close. Oh, well we need to protect them then. Like just halfway up that tree. So what do we do? Were they screaming? Well, they were chirping. They were like running back and forth this thing and I was like, what? All right, let's put them in their bed for the rest of, for a while. Until that hawk goes away. Good thing I can Why couldn't here. they just run into where Chino is? Well, they wanted to run to their home. Oh, I see. But and we keep the barn closed. They see it. Do you guys see it? I don't know if I can see Come it. Come on, babies. It's coming. 
I don't know if I'm getting it. Mom, open the door. You think I let her out? I don't know if you guys can see it. Get, oh my God. See, he's smart. I'm yeah, so they want to go to bed. So we need to figure this out now. What if we're not home and a hawk is circling? Ellie, you better get to bed too. Well, that's annoying. We found a predator on our property. Sophie, we have to come down and clean out their, out their stall. <laughs> Your eyes. <laughs> Look at Lucy. She's so huge. Listen, you're going the wrong way. You want to be hawk food? Come on, let's go. I know. There's always one troublemaker in the group, and it's always her. All right. Now, we're in. Go in your bed. Lucy, go in. There we go. As soon as the hawk left, he went back to what he was doing. So, and then when he the hawk came back, he started walking towards the gate. This is scary. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Dude. That's why I keep telling Sam that we need to move the goats to the big barn up at the top because that's where they hang out. And I feel better if they naturally run into the barn to get safe. That hawk was absolutely chasing down our duck and our goose. All right, so if you guys can't tell, we are fixing more fences. We're like always fixing fences. I've seen so many people say that when you live on a farm, all you do is fix fences. And I was like, yeah, I just don't see it, but I, I see it now. Like, I've never ever fixed so many fences. So, and Leo knew. Sophie's traumatized. Leo knew to run from it. If that gate was open, he would have already been in the barn. I know, but the barn is closed, but they would go in that one door that's open there. Okay, yeah. listen, that's why we need to make them a stall in the other barn, so that if something comes there, they can just run into that barn. Like right now, they're thinking that they're going to run down here. Because if go I Go find your mama. She's... Go. Go find her. She's just through that gate. Good thing I showed up when I did, because that was... Like that bird was getting closer and closer to the ground. Yeah, that's scary. It was like the size of him. Wow. All right, so this is what I need for the other barn. This thing. It's gonna have the bigger handle. Wow, every time I come in and he's not standing in the corner, it's been like days now that he's, I think it's the fly mask. It was giving him headaches or something. Hi, handsome. Started giving him small bits of hay during the day that isn't soaked if I can get it all. Well, this isn't, I'll have to make two trips. <laughs> Can't carry the camera and throw hay. And he's doing well, but the reason that he was foundering all the time was because his gut health was really bad from the disease. And the vet said like, we need to support that. But I, I feel like even though we were supporting it, like he's been getting a probiotic for a long time, I feel like the disease caused it to be bad and like there was no fixing it until the disease started to get under control. Gabby's on her way out to do his feet. I mean, they could have ran in here, but they didn't do that. <laughs> you are still traumatized. I am, because they would have been dead. I know, I, I would just, and you know what? We would never have seen them. We wouldn't know what happened to them. They'd be just gone. Yeah. Good thing we got smart goose. We were just about to walk out of the barn anyway, so we would have if they... You if, weren't even paying attention to them. But they're supposed to like be squawking, be really loud when it gets loud. No, they were quiet. They were trying to run through the house. So my idea is to put them in here, because if this is their stall, even though this is a huge stall, then... They're in a bigger stall right now. Well, it's like wider. I know, but like, so if we put them in here and we left that door open, then they could just come and run in here and run in there. Well, and it would be a lot easier because they like being in this area. When we go to put them to bed, they're always in here. Yeah. Like, I'm ready for bed, guys. Yeah, I think they'd put themselves to bed if they could just come in here. Mm -hmm. So another thing that we've been talking about is um, how when Chino's better, like we want him to be able to go yeah. in and out. Is that fat? It is. <laughs> Might just be skin. Well, I feel like that. Yeah, I mean he's not severely underweight. He's just not. Look, there's a fat pocket. He's just not where we want him to he's be for fatter. sure to maintain health. I'm so glad that I came down at the right time. <laughs> so we can't stop talking about it. Well, if I wasn't there, they would be gone. Yeah, it that was a close call. Was huge. I know. Okay, so anyway, we were talking about how like. 
This could also be Chino's stall so that he could go in and out and not, like this is actually a stall as well as these three stalls. So this is actually a stall, like we could use it as a stall. Just like we can use this as a stall too. So really this barn has one, two, three, four, five stalls, technically. Sophie and I are checking everything out. Sam bought another lock for this thing because this one sucks. He's, he bought another one today to go on here. I know, it's annoying. So he's gonna change that out. I think I think that will be perfect for them. We just have to we just have to put shavings in here. Turkey vulture was trying to eat the duck and the goose. It was huge. It was huge. Sophie came just at the right second and scared it off. We put them away. But we're gonna move them into this stall now. The fact that it came back after too. What? We're gonna use this stall temporarily for the duck and the goose. Just makes more sense. So I wanted to show you guys. Sam's been complaining that the goats haven't been eating much. But I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a lot of grass all in here. There's still grass all up in there, but they ate all this down. The goats and the duck and the goose, mostly the duck and the goose. Don't you know that you're beautiful?